Before the video starts, I do want to say that Fidget HQ did send the spinner to me for free as a review sample, but all of the views expressed about the spinner are my own. All my opinions are my own. I've not been told to do this. It, just because I was sent it does not affect my opinions of it or, you know, whatever. Enjoy the video. Hello Headhunters, what's going on? It's Andrew or Sledge Key here, and today we have the Votri. Votri? Votri? I'm gonna say Votri, kinda like Zentri, from Fidget HQ. Fidget Spinners. So uh, let's take a look at it. It is a brass spinner. It weighs approximately 80 grams. As a steel R188 bearing. It's supposed to spin for uh, three to five minutes. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice spinner. So the only other metal spinner I've had besides this one was the uh, or is the Zentri. So we can compare that in size. So here's the Zentri and here is the Votri. Uh, as you can see, the Votri is just a little bit bigger um, because of the bigger weights on the outside. And we have this really nice taper. Anyway, so it's a bit bigger and definitely does spin longer uh, than this guy does. So yeah, let me talk about what I really like about this spinner. So what I really like is the design. I think the design is awesome um i love the brass though i would have preferred a stainless steel but they only sell brass at this point um it's got really nice uh curves for fidgetability so that's really good uh, you can get that going back and forth um you can also grab here really good way to grab it and stop it so that means this also is very good for using the index finger to flick too um it's got these holes here to maximize the outward mass which means it spins longer uh, and it's got these um, stainless steel bearing with stainless steel caps which is really nice and it is a very heavy spinner um, I don't know if it's heavier than the Zentri necessarily but it spins longer that's for sure with the taper and the holes which actually makes a really nice window when you spin if you see that there Boy, does this little guy spin well. Uh, some of the times are ridiculous. I've been getting about four to five minutes on both table spins and hand spins. It, uh, it does extremely well. The outward mass is great and it really, really helps the spin. And if you like that gyro effect when spinning, if the gravitational pull on it, you'll definitely get some of that as well if you buy the spinner. Another thing to note uh, related to the spin is how balanced it is. There's barely any wobble. It is super balanced and the caps really help because they're deep to uh, balance it on a finger. There's hardly any wobble and it can balance really well and it looks really good. Um, so let's go over uh, what I don't really like about the spinner and that's the noise um, it's a bit loud now it's not loud enough where you can't use it in a classroom like um, the Zen try is usable in a classroom this is basically silent uh, this is not but it's still usable in a classroom I brought it today to school no one really noticed it um, but you know if you do a table spin it's definitely much louder so yeah um, if you want to hear it I'll put it next to the microphone I don't know if it picked that up, but yeah, that's what it sounds like. It's got a little bit of a whirring metal noise, definitely more than this guy, but it is, um, it's still there, but it's not that bad at all. Um, overall, the spinner is super great. It's only $20, but shipping, you have to pay for shipping as well. It comes from Rhode Island, so, you know, shipping may vary, but uh, $20 plus shipping, um, or if you buy from Fidget HQ directly, you know, it'll be $25 with free shipping if you buy some other things. So $25 gives you free shipping, but this is only 20 so you have to buy a little bit extra, maybe a spare bearing if you want one, something like that. Another cool thing about this guy, similar to the Zentri, is that it also has a removable bearing, like a lot of metal spinners do uh, nowadays. 
right here. So you have um, a, usually I, you're supposed to have a tool that slots into these two little slots here and here. You twist it counterclockwise and your bearing comes out. Well, um, it doesn't come with that. You have to buy that separately if you do want one. Maybe you already have them from a different spinner. I do not. So I used some pliers and stuck them in the holes and then twisted it and made it looser so I can do it if I want to with my nails. So for demonstration purposes, I will take it off and to show you what it looks like when you take the bearing out. This just unscrews and there's the bearing and then it just kind of comes out. Yeah, that's really all that is. It just sits back in there. Then you place this on it and tighten it. And you don't need to tighten it to death. Um, you only need to tighten it to where it doesn't move anymore. So do that and then I try to do it just a little bit more. And that's really it. And then I slot in the really, really nice stainless steel caps. They're pretty deep compared to the Zentrius caps. They're a good bit deeper. They're also a bit smaller too. But they are extremely nice. I really like the design on this guy. I think it's a really nice spinner and it's definitely worth the money. Um, one thing I do have to note though is mine came, I don't know if it was damaged in shipping or what, um, but there were some little, uh, like, I get maybe it was bits of felt from the inside of the packaging here, bits of foam, but there were some like black spots around the edges. And if you look along here, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's a little bit darker where the striations are from uh, the machining. So there are a bit of machining marks around the uh, the brass weights on the outside. You can kind of pick it up there on that way on the left. You can pick it up there for sure. Um, but I really like the machining marks, um, and it gives it just a little bit of character and like a, a nice sheen. Really like that. Um, some people might not like that, but that's personal preference. That's up to you. So yeah, I recommend this spinner to anyone who uh, wants it. Uh, it is going to be linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you to FidgetHQ for signing this out for review. All of the uh, views expressed about this spinner are my own. I'm completely honest and transparent in my reviews. Yes, I get it sent to me for free as a review sample, but that does not change my opinion of it. It is very nice. So yeah, that's really it. Like the you liked it. Share the videos if you're Don't share the video. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Take care.